Installing the Air Retrofit Kayak Skeg on your kayak aids in tracking and gives you the ability to paddle in a straight line with less effort. Before you start, collect a few items that are not included in the install kit. Masking tape, tape measure, string, roller, paintbrush, stir stick, heat gun or hair dryer, newspaper, or an old catalog. It is very important to lay out your measurements correctly so the skeg is installed straight for the best performance. You will notice three dots on the bow end of the template and skeg patch. These indicate the bow position and will help you line up the skeg patch during installation. First, tie a string to the rear D-ring, then stretch it tight and tie it off to the D-ring in the bow. This will help you center the skeg plate. Measure from both sides of the floor to the string. Make sure you have the same measurement on each side. This will be your center mark. Different boats will have different measurements. Tape the string down to the boat just above the skeg patch area. Measure from the stern end of the floor pocket, not the end of the boat. Your measurement on single boats should be 27 inches. And if you are applying this to a tandem boat, your measurement is going to be 33 inches. In this install, we're using a single person boat, so our measurement will be 27 inches. Once you have your measurement, tape down the string. Make sure the three dots are on the end towards the bow. Slide your template in place and adjust it to the center marks. Then tape down the template with the masking tape. This will help protect your boat from extra glue, as well as hold down your template in place to apply the skeg patch. You can remove the string now. If you have newspaper or an old air catalog to tape down, this is a great idea to avoid spilling glue outside of the patch area. At this point in the install, you can put the skeg back on the skeg patch so it's easier to work with. Next, scuff both areas with sandpaper. Clean off the patch area and the bottom of the patch with alcohol and let dry. Mix the catalyst in with the stay on glue and paint a layer of glue to the prepared area of the boat as well as the bottom of the patch. Once the glue is dry to touch, apply a second coat to the prepared area on the boat and the bottom of the patch. Once it is dry to touch, heat the boat and the patch with the heat gun until you see the glue slightly bubble reactivating the glue. It is best to start applying the bow end of the patch first. Line up the three dots carefully. Once it looks straight, slowly press down and keep pressing to the center and then to the stern end of the patch. Use your roller, start near the skeg plate and work your way out along the edges, rolling out any bubbles or creases. You can use a heat gun to warm the top of the patch as you roll down the edges. Stop before the material is too hot to touch. Carefully peel off the tape and the skeg template. Remove the skeg and we recommend placing a weight on the skeg patch for 24 hours to dry. Once it is dry, attach your skeg and you are ready to paddle. We do recommend taking the skeg off during transportation and storage to reduce damage to the skeg or skeg plate. Make sure the lock pin is secure and snap back in place when you remove and install the skeg. 